uh, Crispin Glover, yeah. who's going to uh, karate kick my skull in. And um, news of the week. So, Nick, what are we, what, what, why are you up here? What are you doing? What's uh, happening? I have another earthquake kit. Oh, now these uh, are specific kits for specific, residents. As of the... you know, uh, what you put in your earthquake kit varies from person to person. Uh, you remember last week we did your kit. And uh, actually, to start out, I actually have my kit right here with some things that I specifically need. Uh, Funny all, things that would be specific to you, Nick McKay. That is correct. Have I clubbed you over the head with a premise? <laughs> all right. We start out with a Roger's thesaurus, where I find Hulk. Mm -hmm. It was Doc Bruce Banner. Belted by gamma rays, turns into the Hulk. Ain't he, un un Ain't he unglamorous? Oh, the one for uh, Iron Man? Tony Stark makes you feel he's the cool exec with a heart of steel, but Iron Man boot jets aflame. He fights and fights with repulsor rays. Amazing power, Iron Man. Ablaze with power, Iron Man. Beautiful, man. <laughs> now give me the extended play dance version. Okay. Tony Stark. <laughs> Makes you fit. <laughs> All right, and he also invented uh, Doctor Strange, the X-Men, Daredevil, all my heroes from my youth. God, was I whacked. All right, uh, <laughs> here to celebrate Spider-Man's 30th birthday. Yeah, let's welcome Stan Lee. Yeah. Uh, you know, I hope... I hope you weren't uh, joking about those songs you played, because to me, they're just second to the national anthem. Oh, no, I love in, those songs. In, in importance and meaning. No, we would never joke. Why do you think we remember when we're 38-year-old men? <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man does, does whatever a spider, does whatever can, does a whatever spider, a spider can. can, which is not much. <laughs> oh, no, 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 never, never say that. <laughs> well, you seem like such a glamorous hero. It's like, he does what a spider does. does you you can trip can. on him and kill him. <laughs> Loses a leg and slower, but still got seven. No, no, you promised, <laughs> you promised we were going to take this very seriously. Oh, hey, come on, I love this stuff for my I use. I mean, my... Spidey's gosh, 30th you... birthday. What do you mm -hmm. get Spider-Man for 30? I, um, 30 wax. <laughs> Actually, you know, we've been doing this. I celebrated his first birthday, his second birthday. I'm getting a little bored with this. When we get to his 100th birthday, I think I'll make a big thing out of that. Yeah. Is but Aunt this... May still alive? Yeah, she, she'll never die. You know, it's funny. In the early days, we used to get mail. 50% of the mail said, you've got to kill Aunt May or we'll never read another copy of the book. Wow. The other 50% said, if anything happens to Aunt May, I'll never buy another book. And these are the kind of dilemmas I am faced with all right. the time. It is not easy. And while it is like the ultimate in fiction, it's like people take it so seriously, don't Fic they? I remember when they fiction? were... Fiction? Well, you know, I remember when I was young and you changed Tony Stark from, uh, he was the heavy Iron Man to the light Iron Man. Mm -hmm. I got all bummed out. It was like <laughs> Dylan before and after the wreck. You know, he had the, uh... <laughs> For those who aren't um, familiar with this sort of thing, originally Iron Man had this heavy bulky suit of armor. And then after a while, it wasn't really me. You know what happens? We have different artists drawing these occasionally. So one artist at one point said, gee, it seems to me he ought to have a more streamlined suit of armor. And I occasionally would make those command decisions. I said, okay, streamline the armor. Right. And I took the credit for it. And this poor guy labored for months, you know, designing a new suit of armor. And Iron Man really, strangely enough, has had more costume designs than hardly any character. Yeah. Every new artist who took it over said, I hate that suit of armor, I want to change it. Right. Now, my favorite when I was young was the X-Men. Uh, did you, you, you were the creator of the yeah. X-Men? Yeah. The X-Men, um, yeah. yeah. Professor X. Thank you, mutant lovers. I always loved Scott, the kid who was bummed out because whenever oh, he pulled yeah, the visor yeah. back, he would zap the girl he was on a date with. Well, so here's a he was... poor guy who had to wear his eyes covered up all the time. Yeah. You know, the X-Men, it was a funny thing. When, when I first proposed the idea of the X-Men, my publisher said, I, I wanted to call them the mutants. And the publisher said, no, you can't call them the mutants because nobody knows what a mutant is. Well, I didn't really agree, but he was the publisher. So I tried to think of another name, and I figured, well, mutants have extra power. So we'd call them the X-Men. And I said to him, how about calling them the X-Men? He said, yeah, that makes sense. And I figured out, 
Who's going to know what an X-Man is, you know? <laughs> but this is why I'm not a businessman. Well, an X-Man is <laughs> Christina Jorgensen. Uh... <laughs> Tell, tell me about uh, Spidey. We got this poster here. Is he your favorite? Spidey, your favorite? Or oh. you didn't you didn't like him at first? No, or? no, I loved him. You know? Wait, wait, I gotta tell you. They're doing a movie. You're gonna do a movie about him, right? Mm -hmm. You know who you gotta look at to play Spider-Man. I think I got the perfect Spider-Man for you, and they'll back me up on this. Who would be better than Jim Carrey from In Living Color? Do you know him? Yes, of he's, course. Of he's course. so funny. Of he course. loves this character. Yeah. And Does he really? He, nobody can bend their body or oh, be more elastic. And I think he'd be a perfect Spider-Man. You really ought to Duly look into noted. It. All but right. you know, actually, the one who's going to make that decision will be Jim Cameron, who's the fellow from who's the Terminator. Be yeah. Well, at least it's going to get done right. Then, I mean, huh? when we do a movie, we go to the top. Well, that would be exciting yeah. to have Cameron it, it, it do really Spider-Man because I don't think any of these have ever really. Uh, well, you know, the TV ones that were brought to life. Oh, don't even don't even mention that. TV oh, you didn't dig the Hulk oh, thing. Oh, it was terrible. No, no that uh, it had it had none of the things that made Spider-Man popular. It had none of his personality. It had none of the humor. I mean, you wouldn't really relate to that humor part, but I'll explain it later on. You know, and it had none. Of, only kidding. I love Stan. it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, listen, you let Ed Asner come out with a gun. I gotta take a break. Stan Lee, folks, thank you. We'll be right back. This portion of the Dennis Miller Show is brought to you by VCR Plus. Life should be so simple. Lots of margarine say they have a... David Niven. He was. All right, uh, I want to show you this. Remember the uh, Michael Jordan cover we had on Sports Illustrated with the uh, hologram? Well, the 30th anniversary giant size Spider-Man is out. It's got a killer hologram on the front. You ought to pick it up. These, uh, I'm sorry if I wax poetic about these things, but they're from your childhood, and that usually sticks I with you. I love every golden syllable. <laughs> you know, there are actually four of these. It's a series of four books to commemorate the anniversary, All right. and each cover has a hologram. Beautiful. We got to run. Stan Lee. Good night, teenagers. Bye-bye. Thanks, Stan. Tomorrow night at 8, Leah Thompson and Victoria Jackson experience the horrors of modern dating in casual sex. Hosted by WHCN's own Pocosi and the Horn. When in Los Angeles, guests of the Dennis Miller Show stay at the St. James Club and Hotel.